Morning, gang. Bronco Carl 92 here, Saturday morning, August 11th. Um, we're going to get back working on the pressure washer that we found in the garbage. So, I uh, ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon.com last week after I determined that the pump would be usable. Or at least the pump body would be usable because we got the broken bolts out. And then I had the video of time inserting the threads. So let's see what we got here. So we got a seal kit and we got a how much is that? It's like a pint, 15 ounces of pump oil. And actually I ordered a hose and a wand. So um let's uh let's take this uh, seal kit. I'm have to see still and this oil. And uh, let's put the pump back together. Let's see if we can get her to work. So, I'll set you up in a second. Okay, so. This bag open here. So, these are the old parts. But that even comes with a nice little instruction sheet. Okay. Looks pretty self-explanatory. So let's get this open here. Okay, so huh. Well oh, that is that looks like they gave me two sets of seals. Is that possible? No, they're on both sides. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright, so let me, uh, let me go get an O-ring pick and uh, pull these apart. Okay, so... Okay, we've already taken the pump apart, so using an O-ring pick, remove the high-pressure seals from the head assembly. That's done already. Figure 4 shows all the seals that are replaced in the head assembly. Check each piston chamber, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay, so that's done. Remove the following components from the piston housing. O-ring A, those are off. Flat washer. B. Those things, we didn't take them off. And then the pistons.
I've taken the three bolts out and I've actually pulled this top assembly of all right well I didn't realize it but uh, <laughs> camera shut off because I was out of memory so um, I actually took the pump apart and pulled these pistons out and I cleaned the inside of this out with some solvent and uh, took got these seals out over here by using the pick to pull them out like a lever I don't really know how someone would actually pull them out with the pistons and self in place without you know doing any damage so anyway now that those are out we can stick the new ones in okay so we're gonna pop these new seals in now Luckily, they don't go in that hard. All right, I suppose we should probably put the pump body back together now. So let me just give the other the thing a douse. So, Here's our swash plate. Let's give them a quick clean. Now being that this is spring loaded, there's a little tension on here, so. these bolts in a little bit at a time. Still lowering on top of high pressure seal. And we got these bad boys to put on.
like these O-rings at all. They look like they're very easy to pinch if you're not careful on assembly. Okay. back in. Right, let's see what happens. All right. So I just got to get a, uh, I guess an eight. Let's fill this. Maybe I'll fill it once it's on the machine, so it's filled when it's level. All right. So let me uh, bring this over to the machine, and I'll get you guys back on in a bit.